bought the I bought half a yard of the fabric along with the lining and I'm also going to be putting an interface interface in, in between okay now for the measurement what I used I used 12 inches 12 inches from here to here that's what I cut out and I also cut out 13 inches from the top to the waistline where I wanted to stop at so as you can see the this fabric will be this is the lining and it will be at the back and then this is going to be so I just finished sewing down the boning on the sides of the of the flap okay and um, I'm going to sew it down now with the lining made with the actual fabric okay I'm going to close it up by placing this right over it and sewing it all right so now i just made the i'm going to use this for the loop so i'm going, I'm going to cut out two inches on each so the two inches will be sewn down on each side again so the loop so the string can pass through it at the back, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it three inches because two inches will be too small. So I'm going to make three inches cut for it. All right, so this is the outcome of the zipper of the replacement I was trying to do. Now this works for anything, say your dress is too tight or you're trying to replace your zipper. This is the best way to go about it. That way you can still wear your dress. But thank you for watching. Until next time, stay fabulous. Well, all right, here we have it. It's just a short little video to show you guys how you can replace the back just in case the back won't zip or if you have a dress that just, maybe an old dress that you would like to expand at the top. So here's a little quick way to fix the issue of the dress being tight or maybe your zipper is bad or for whatever reason you just want to change your style so here you have it thanks for watching